The following is part of a video series documenting the world building of Nomad Universe. In the entire series, we will design vehicles, characters, objects of interest, and lots of environments. In this particular video, we're making guns in Vector using Inkscape. You can download Inkscape absolutely free at inkscape.org. I will leave a link for you in the description. While this isn't really a tutorial, I do hope that if you are watching this, you enjoy it nonetheless, and I am catering to that possibility by explaining the process for those interested in how I did certain stuff. The process I'm using is experimental, and as you can see, I'm using alphabet letters as a foundation to create these weapons. In the traditional arts, there's something called having a uh, happy accident. These sort of mishaps happen once or twice during your artistic process. Let's say you're drawing a vampire and you spill some ink on a shirt and realize that you have coagulated blood on the vampire's shirt. And that's a happy accident and it looks cool. So we're doing the same thing here. But the purpose of this is to have the happy accidents reoccur over and over again and that's where you get the design. Uh, what you're looking at right now, I'm making silhouettes of weapons that we kind of are familiar with already. AR-15s, M4s, M16s, um, AK-47s, Mossberg shotguns, MP5s, that sort of thing, right? But instead of filling them in with complete black, we leave them empty. And then we extract the alphabet characters, like the alphabet letters, and we fill in those silhouettes with those characters. Let's see. You can see here that I'm extracting the G, H, J, and I'm bringing them over to the silhouettes. Then I'm going to fill them in. The entire concept here is to have the randomness happen. It's sort of like a guided randomness where you kind of fill thin things in and then you will get forms and patterns that you normally wouldn't consciously decide to have if you were designing this, uh, you know, outright with nothing else except for, you know, your tools. The video's being uh, uh, sped up. I recorded it earlier, and then now I'm speaking over it, uh, you know, to, to explain what I'm doing. And I, I'm only catering to the fact that you guys might be watching this, but the primary use of this video is to document our world building. Nomad Comics, you know, we're working on a lot of special things, and then we will keep you apprised of those things uh, as we go through the series. As you can see here, this weapon that I'm designing there, I had no preconceived form for it only general like maybe a general idea of this might be some sort of automated shotgun or maybe a grenade launcher or something like that right then once you have the foundation you just build and build and build on top of it one thing I do actually try to have happen is that I, I complete one put it to the side if it's not completely done maybe I get it to a specific point where it's recognizable as something cool then I put that to the side as well you can always come back to it and redo it or add it to something else um, something's gonna happen here where I will complete the weapon that you're looking at right now and then once that's complete I'm going to solidify all the parts merge them all into one solid vector then I'm going to make it into another context for something else so right now it's being built sort of like a drum fed 
automated, you know, weapon of death. Then I think here's where it's 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 gonna happen. If you hear any snoring, it's my dog or dogs in the next room they snore really loud. Leap, loud leap. Okay, here's where it happens. I flipped it. 90 degrees, rotated 90 degrees, and then stretched it. Now it's in a new context. You know, it's, it's, it's the, the body of another gun stretched outwards. And you can do a lot of this. Never be afraid to try something new with this process. Even if you have it completed, duplicate it, save one copy, and then the remaining copy, you do what you want with it. Do you know, uh, do tons of experiments. You never know what you might come up with. See, now that I have it in a new context, it looks like some sort of uh, Heckler and Coke. You know, that, that sort of submachine gun. Then I'm gonna build on top of it. Right now I'm using the pen tool to draw random shapes on top of it, but I can always continue using alphabets. Uh, in the videos that follow this one, you're gonna see that I go right back to extracting alphabet letters to complete a design. And again, I don't know if this process is gonna be viable. So this is really not a tutorial. It's just me documenting this stuff. And if you're watching this, okay, I, I'm very happy that you're watching it. But um, if you have any tips, because I'm no expert at this, it's an experiment. If you have any tips or advice, you know, please share it in the description, uh, the comment section below. So I'm making a barrel there. Another thing that I need to bring up is that we are working on several things at Nomad Comics. Um, we're working on horror, working on uh, anything but superheroes. We're not really doing superheroes. We're doing sci-fi, classic sci-fi, horror, action adventure. We're doing lots of spy stuff, and suspense, thrillers, and stuff like that. But what we'll be doing is when we create something, we're going to be doing it here on video so that you can, uh, you guys can see what we're doing. Maybe when, uh, when we begin to create a Patreon or a Kickstarter for some print runs, we can add these videos to it and you can see exactly where your money's going if, if you're going to be a patron or, or you're going to crowdfund us. You know? Alright, so we're coming towards the end of this video. Uh, please like us on Facebook. Our page is Nomad Comics. And on Twitter, we, we haven't gotten one yet. But you can follow me. I'm Artist Bob Stone. Also known as Nerdy Beats. Alright, on to the next video. Or part two.